Uh -huh. Good. Mr. Patrick, Sir. don't be offended. <laughs> and don't be surprised. Mm. We loaded it here. Okay. Presently <laughs> now, we have over 100 different versions of the Bible. Okay. And they are mm. much more contradictory to one another. Okay. They are giving me verses of the Bible on a daily basis. Just recently, they, they, they sent about 11 or 12 from United Kingdom, about 17 from United States of America. So, so many versions. These days, we have women's Bible. We are the, the uh, feminized Jesus Christ. They say Jesus Christ was a woman, a lady. Can you believe that? No. And they said when Jesus was going, she entered Jerusalem. Jesus saw some people and she was talking to them. So just with the obeying, they said, you know, they said Jesus Christ was a black man. I have a book there. They said Jesus Christ was a black man, black like me and you. They said, no, we don't, we don't believe he's a white man. He was never a white man. He was a black man. And you know, in America today, they have started Mother Christmas. Okay. Even though we heard of Father Christmas, they said, no, what goes for the good goes for the gender. Why don't we, why don't we also have Mother Christmas? So that is how they easily manufacture the word of God. So we have so many versions here, and I will show you this morning. And the reason why you must be an authentic believer, a, an authentic believer worship Allah. A true believer will be a Muslim. A Muslim is someone that does the will of God. If you believe in Islam, you are a Muslim. Then you will believe in Jesus Christ, the real Jesus Christ, Jesus of the Quran, Jesus of the Muslim. Not the Jesus of the Bible. You understand? Yeah. Not the fictitious Jesus. Not the Jesus Christ that was crucified on a cross and he was begging, Eloi, Eloi, Lama Sabachthani, my God, my God, who have you forsaken me? How can the Son of God be begging God? Pray, Allah, me, Allah, me. Is it all about the media? <laughs> can you see that? So God now says, Oh, Jesus Christ, don't worry. You are crying to me. I am powerless. I cannot assist you. If that should be the case, then on the day of judgment, Allah, God will hold all the Christians to be seriously flogged. What did they do? That you are tarnishing the image of his only begotten son. They were crucifying him. They were knocking him. They were nailing him. And he said, oh, Father, they don't know what they are doing. Hello, hello, Lama Sabakhtani. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why did you abandon me? Why, why, why have you left me? It is an insult to the personage of God Almighty that God was looking at his beloved. She be, was it not the one that said, this is my beloved son, whom I am well pleased. If God was well pleased with him, why did God allow him to die that ignominious death on the cross? It is insulting. Very, very insulting. Exactly. I want exactly. You to, I would like Mr. You to, Mr. Patrick said exactly. Uh, I would like you to hit on that. Now, uh, on, on the issue of the covenant, finally, God promised Abraham two covenants. It is in the book of Genesis chapter 17 uh, and 16. Because of time, let me show you this. But if I read it, you will believe that I am quoting from the Bible. Mm. God says, Oh, you Abraham, I have heard your prayer on Ishmael. I will make him a great nation and I will multiply him exceedingly. That was God's promise on Ishmael. Okay. Now, the fulfillment of God's prophecy on Ishmael was a broad prophet Muhammad, the last prophet from the nine age of Ishmael. Like God promised Isaac, fulfillment of God's covenant of I on Isaac was God was bringing some prophets from the lineage of Israel. In person of Moses, uh, John the Baptist, Solomon, David, Elijah, and all other Israelite prophets. But Jesus Christ was aware that it was going to be the last, the seal of the Israelite prophet. He now said in Matthew chapter 21, that here, O Israel, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you 
and be given to another nation that will bring forth the fruit that we bring forth the fruit he said it is marvelous in our eyes this is god's doing even when jesus christ said so after having said so the bible says the jews plotted to stone him because they did not like that message at all they were grieved they were unhappy they became sad it saddened their heart that how can God now jettison us for another nation? But that was the bitter truth. Jesus spoke the bitter truth. And the name of the child was called Ichabod. Uh -huh. Saying, saying, the glory has departed from Israel. The glory of God has departed from Israel. But <laughs> this is how Christians understand the, the two uh, covenants. Yes. You the, now understand now. I'm coming. You have told me the way you told me is not the way Christians understand it. Yes. That but is let why me tell you how they understand it. I know, I know the way they understood it perfectly. I know. Okay. But I am telling you the correct version. Okay. If I may ask you a question, you, you can never answer it till okay. the day of judgment. Okay. Now, the book of John chapter 1. I said so. John chapter 1. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. John Matthew. chapter 1, verse 19. Mr. Patrick, let me show this. I know you don't have high blood pressure. Abby. You don't. <laughs> if you have, Jesus will cure it. Abby? I will. Yeah, you will do. <laughs> now, in John chapter 1, this is chapter 1, mm. this is verse 14, okay. this is 19. Okay. It reads, and this is the generation testimony of John. Mm. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who are you? They saw John the Baptist. We call it Prophet Yahya. Now, he confessed, he said, he did not deny, but confessed, I am not the Christ. Because they asked him, the Jews of the day, they were expecting Jesus Christ as prophesied in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. They now said, are you that Christ? He said, I am not the Christ. That is one. They went ahead and they asked him, what then? Are you Elijah? Because they, they, they knew of Elijah ascension. So they were expecting that one day Elijah will return. Do you know what John the Baptist said? He said, I am not. He said, okay, you are not Jesus Christ. You are not Elijah. It remained another prophet. The prophet that will come in the lineage of Ishmael that will fulfill great prophecy on Abraham. Now, he now said, are you the prophet? Do you know what he said? And he answered. He answered. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. Ebangbe to be follow. He knew the prophet they were referring to. He knew they were referring to Prophet Muhammad. Are you the prophet? He said, no. So he believed Jesus will come, Elijah will return, and Prophet Muhammad will come. He now said, I am not that prophet. Let me now ask you, who was that prophet? Um, uh, this uh, place this place i would like to tell your superior no i would like to uh, go through it and i can equally bring the answer to your other tomorrow or today. No, not if phone. possible to, tomorrow and uh, that is that that is today uh, that is today uh, will you come today to come and tell us that prophet exactly As because why i say so is this mm -hmm. you will go and research yes i will i will go because I have uh, this... Uh, Do me a favor. Uh, I'm sure you will have like five or six learned pastors. Okay. Or powerful clerics okay. in but Christian doctrine. Yeah. spirit. Send a text message to all of them okay. that they mentioned a prophet in John chapter 1, 19 to 25. Okay. Can you with every humility... Tell me who was that prophet. Send it to five different pastors. Okay. And tomorrow or tonight, you tell me their responses. As okay. As okay. Do that. Yeah, I will, do, uh, I will try. Let's see how I do solve uh, such a thing. You yes. see? Like uh, we are trying to tell you the Christian's view about the covenant. Yes. The Christian view about the covenant waved this out because they believe that... Uh, the two covenants were made to, I uh, mean, the Jew. Mm -hmm. 
since the Kutu covenant were made to the Jew, mm -hmm. now every prophecy mm -hmm. that God is prophesying mm -hmm. must be about the Jew. One question again. I'm coming, sir. Mm -hmm. it must be about the Jew. Okay. Like uh, uh, the, 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 the stone that uh, the chief corner stone that uh, the stone which the builders build rejected. rejected. Uh -huh. don't, let me, like, don't let me come to them uh -huh. this morning. I'm coming, I'm coming, I, I reserve it tonight. I'm coming, sir. Mm. So, I, I, I even try to save our time more than you. <laughs> no, no, you know, there are many things are agitating in my exactly, hands. Exactly. Well, let, me, let me ask you I, just one more question okay, again. Sir. God says in Genesis 21, verse 18, Abraham, concerning Ishmael, I will make him a great nation. I will multiply you exceedingly. Can you tell me how that prophecy of God, how did it come into fulfillment? Okay. I, 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 I believe that uh, even the Bible spoke about the fulfillment that uh, Ishmael. Uh, Ishmael, that he later multiplied. Ishmael multiplied. And get a, 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 a great nations. And become a him. great nation. nation. Yes. Okay. And that is the fulfillment of the that covenant. Is the fulfillment uh -huh. If any it. other thing added to it, mm -hmm. I don't know until if you explain it, I will say, okay, I've known you, from today. You've known but for that. what I'm saying is this, that the two covenants I know, first and second, were made for the, for the Israel. And mm -hmm. uh, Ishmael and the mother represented one, being the first. That's why they say that they I, are of, I, I'm coming, they are of Jerusalem. Uh, is it? They are of the, 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 of the Jerusalem that is now. That, that is, is the it, way, is that is the way, that, that is the way, that is the way, that is the way, that is the way they manipulated it for you. No. No, yes. Even, you see how I do things, eh? Uh, if they spoke something in, uh, what do you call me, it? In, me, in, in, in good news, I mean, in, in New Testament. You, you, you will get what I'm saying Because New Testament now. is what uh, you people fear. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. But uh, that of uh, Old Testament, you don't believe that it's adulterated. That's why I do try to find something in the old. Thank Anything you. I got from the new. I, Thank if you. I equally find it from the old, then I will say, okay, I will trust this thing to tell a Muslim man that he could believe this. Thank you, Mr. Patrick. <laughs> let, me, let me explain it to you in two minutes. Okay, sir. Can you please tell me, is Jesus God? Well, as we Christians do say, we do say it's a mystery. Because the, why no, we, I'm no, coming, I'm sir. coming, I'm coming. Just in one word. Mm. I want to ask them a question. Okay. Is Allah God? Yes. Me, yes. Can you hear them? Yes. Is Allah God? Yes. Is Muhammad God? No. Now, Mr. Patrick. Sir. Is Jesus Christ God? Yes. My first question. My second question. Is Jesus God? Yes. Now, finally, my third question. Is Jesus God? Yes. Good. So, we got yes, yes, yes. yes. Mr. Patrick. Uh, you don't believe in the Bible. I do. Can you please open John chapter 17? Is he, please, I oh, beg you. Oh, I beg wait, you. Just please. Wait, please wait, let, wait, me, let me tell you. You talk. Let you me talk. Tell. Okay. If you open it and we read it, you now tell me something. John chapter 17, verse 3. Can you please read? John chapter 17. Are you looking for your glasses? Put on your glasses, please. John 17. Uh, hmm. What? John 17. Did you see it? John 17, what? Where? Verse 3. Okay, 3. Hmm. Okay. He's there. Uh, I'll, I'll get it. Uh, now, now you put the verse. Let me just. I have seen it. I read. Mm hmm. And this is eternal life. And this is eternal life. That they may know thee. Who? The, thee. Who? I'm reading now. He said thee, which is God. Which is God. They may know you. Uh -huh. The only true God. The only true God. And Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ. 
whom thou hast sent. Whom you have sent. Yeah. Who sent Jesus Christ? God. Eh? God. I, I, I can't hear you. I say God. God sent Jesus Christ. Yes. God sent God. Yes. Let me let me now tell you the mystery now. You will now explain to me. Yeah. Let me now. explain to you. Mm. God, I want Listen, you to explain. Let me explain to you. Okay. I when they introduce a book here. Yes. Um, the greatest uh, that Saint Paul is the greatest uh, antichrist. Mm. I had it. I gave. A, I called one brother. He helped me and get it. I read a place that uh, spoke that Saint Paul have said something that shows that he is a hypocrite. And that place read that where Saint Paul were saying, "Though I am free, but." Uh, uh, that's how he said it. If that book is here now, I will say it again. He said, though I am free, but uh, something, something, I'm a servant. You see? Which means, speaking about uh, that bondage now, is, uh, that servant now is uh, referring to bondage. Which now, the person who spoke that St. Paul is a hypocrite is trying to say that St. Paul has contradicted himself. He's talking about freedom. He's talking about bondage against himself. You see? That is the logic. If anyone could not understand that place, it will sound like what we are now discussing here. St. Paul, we are trying to talk about that place. No. Free. I'm coming. I'm coming, sir. Free. I mean, I mean I'm uh, coming. I will come to this. Free. That's St. Paul, we are talking there. I'm coming. Free, we are talking there. He's talking about when I'm among men, I'm free. But I'm now a slave because I've begun to serve you people. That is exactly what Paul, we are trying to say there. But somebody who run it straight, we say that the same person will talk about freedom. Now they talk about bondage. One person. You see it? Now, coming to the very one we are saying now, I told you it's a mystery. When they say Jesus, Son of God, this, that, which they used to qualify Jesus, which is, if you look at it, it has separated Jesus from even calling him God in a very logical sense. But so far, Jesus has come to make such a move that he came from on earth. That is the language that must be used on him to not bring confusion. But because they did not use that, that language, that is the now, language. That is that language they must use on him to Which, not cause confusion. What is that language that he must be called God? No, the language of calling him like son of God, or when he is now trying to talk about God. But he in said, actual, I'm coming. In he, said, sense, he said that I am sent. He will God. present. God, I'm coming. He presented God the way he he, he is. Which God again? God Almighty. No, now. He, 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 Jesus is God. Try to understand. That is exactly what I'm trying to tell you. You here know, He's God. You know, I'm, Jesus I'm, is God. I'm coming, okay? Because I, I, if I'm you confused. did not make that move in the first place, mm. me and you will not even heard about it. But you believe Jesus is God, and we believe that it is. It was through Him that everything we are made. Everything we so are made. Jesus created everything. I'm coming. That is what Bible said. He, he created the heavens. That it was through Him that everything we are made is by that? the Holy Ghost. Where is that in the Bible? You see, I'm not even a pastor. Can, can you tell me? I'm coming. Is that? I'm coming, sir. I'm not even a pastor. But the only thing is show that me, I'm show coming, me sir. That. I'm coming, sir. Yeah. The only thing is that the zeal that is in the Christian do make them to push forward. Because I know that what is in the Christian is also in Muslim. It's not all Muslim that is now. Uh, 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 I mean, no Bible like Mr. you now. I'm coming, sir. Like you now. But he's a Muslim. And when he wants to speak about Quran, he will speak about the level he knew. So that's why I told you, I'm not a pastor, but I am telling you from my own uh, little knowledge of the scripture. And Mr. based on that, if I'm coming, sir, if he tell me something that is not contrary, I may say no. But he may tell me, say, okay, show me where it's in the Bible. Show Mr. me. Then I will say, I never. No, but I know say is there. Mr. Patrick. Sir. Mr. Patrick. Sir. Mr. Patrick. Sir. I'm ready to follow you to your church. Okay. Tomorrow Sunday. Okay. And start praising God with you. Okay. And start 
shaking, dancing, singing, and so on and so forth. Okay. Based on one condition. Okay. Can you show me from horse's mouth where Jesus Christ said, I created the heavens and the heart, like you said? Just like I told you, you know that there are certain things, the, uh, there are certain things God, you know, I'm coming, sir. There are certain things God gave the prophet to say. Just as he gave prophet Muhammad to say. He gave Jesus to say. He gave Moses to say. Did it, Jesus Christ, did he, did, he, did he ever see anything of such? I'm coming, sir. Different people, he gave them different, uh, I mean, message to say. But the whole message is linked. Agreed. To be one. Agreed. Now. Did he ever say so? I mean, that Jesus himself. He created the heavens and the earth. I mean, Jesus himself. That is what I'm telling you. It, Jesus must not say it. But okay, he didn't I, say I'm it. I'm coming. It must, it will not say we will agree, it, uh, agree to it only if Jesus said it. Mr. Patrick. I'm coming, sir. But if, I'm coming, sir. If some other person say it, just like St. Paul, you see. Mm -hmm. You know, my friend, my Muslim friend, I thank God that it's not everything that St. Paul say that he, he, he agree. Mm -hmm. But he also agrees to many things that St. Paul say. I said, the St. Paul, you say that he's a liar. How are you now agree? Even very good verse that me and him used to make word. Mm -hmm. He's the one who brought it. Mm -hmm. Where he spoke about uh, Ishmael and uh, Isaac mm -hmm. uh, in uh, Galatians 4 23. Mm -hmm. uh, how they represent the first and second covenant and this and that. He, were, he, he was the one who brought it. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, exactly this is exactly what uh, we will show. Okay. Try to understand mr patrick finally Jesus let me tell you to her. let me tell you a secret yeah please bring the bible open the book of Colossians. fast 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 please i said we muslim we are your teachers okay sir jesus christ has never opened his mouth and claimed that he created the heavens and the heart okay even he even said Concerning the last hour, only God knows it. Not even the angels, nor himself, the son. Do you know who said that thing? That Jesus Christ created the heavens and the heart. It was that liar. Okay. Who was that liar? Saint Paul. Okay. The book of Colossians chapter 1, verse 16. Colossians chapter 1. Can you see? Mm -hmm. I knew this verse for over 20 years. For, him, for in Jesus, the firstborn of all creatures, the firstborn of all creatures, all things were created. Jesus was the firstborn of all creatures. Where was Adam? Where was Eve? Where are the sons of Eve? Where was Abraham? Where was Noah? Jesus was the firstborn of all creatures. He's not referring here in the earth. Uh, he was the firstborn. He was the firstborn of the earth, referring in heaven. Uh, he was the firstborn in the heaven. That is it. Mm, now, through him, in heavens and on earth, you said he was the firstborn. Through him, Jesus was the firstborn in the heaven by God. And Jesus Christ was a God. He himself is God. And God gave birth to another God. So the God become the first born. Born out of God in heaven and God on the heart. <laughs> Continue, my friend. Uh -huh. all, okay. all things. All things were created. All things. St. Paul said all things were created by Jesus Christ. In heaven and on earth. If you believe that Jesus Christ created you, yes or no? 